This coming Sunday, we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Lent as we continue along our Lenten journey. As we all know, this Lent is different like none other. Lectare Sunday, this fourth Sunday of Lent, comes from the root word meaning to rejoice, that we are called on this fourth Sunday of Lent as we as we begin to draw an end to the Lenten season, as Easter draws closer, uh, our hearts are called to be filled with the joy, the joy and the hope that Christ brings in our lives. This year, of course, uh, there perhaps is not a lot of hope in our hearts. Perhaps we are not feeling the joy that we usually do in the midst of this corona crisis. And yet, still, as this Sunday approaches in, in, a, in a different manner, in a different context, certainly for all of us as a parish community, it is still this call that we have, together as individuals and as parish communities, to rejoice, to rejoice in the Lord, to rejoice in the hope that he seeks to bring into our lives, even in the midst of this crisis. And so it usually is... Uh, on this fourth Sunday of Lent, this Laetare Sunday, that we we mark this 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 kind of this shift, this this character of this fourth Sunday of Lent being this moment of rejoicing. So we mark it with this uh, the shift in, in the liturgical color that we see as we move from from a, a penitential purple that we've been that we've been seeing and experiencing in these first couple weeks of Lent, and we move it to a festive rose color. Uh, which is meant to express to us and allow us to enter into the, the rejoicing and the hope that Christ seeks to provide to us in this Lenten season, on this fourth Sunday of Lent, as we draw closer to the celebration of Easter. Many of you will remember in Advent of 2015 and continuing into 2016, Pope Francis declared a Jubilee year. It was the Jubilee year of mercy. And in Jubilee years, the Jubilee doors in the basilicas in Rome are actually open. Those doors every other year, are, the holy doors, are actually physically sealed from the inside. They're only opened in a Jubilee year. In that Jubilee year of 2015 and 2016, that year of mercy, St. John's was one of several parishes throughout the archdiocese that was designated as a Jubilee site. These were the holy doors that I'm standing in front of right now. We find ourselves in an interesting position where our doors are not sealed shut, but they're locked shut. And it's a great reminder for us that the church is always bigger than our churches of St. John and St. Joe's and all around the archdiocese. And so as our doors have to remain locked, as they are sealed in a way that we're not used to them being, we want to find some new and creative ways to meet you, to greet you, and to continue to be present to you. As we explore ways to be present to one another in these new and challenging days, we've laid out a couple of ways that we'll try to reach out to you in the coming week. And quite frankly, we're looking at Palm Sunday and the Triduum and Easter, likely without any of the faithful being here. Many of us are, as I've mentioned a couple of times over the last couple of days, experiencing cabin fever. But even before cabin fever, lots of us struggle with road rage. And soon we might be dealing with corona rage. We may be driving each other crazy in our house. And so here's an opportunity to come and gather with us. Instead of road rage or corona rage, how about car engage? Our priests and our deacons will be here on Sunday from 9 to 11. We hope to see cars and headlights and windows down and people waving. We hope to smile and receive your smiles, offer you a prayer or a blessing. We hope that instead of what oftentimes becomes road rage for us, we can road engage in our faith as we look forward to joining you this Sunday from 9 to 11 a.m. For centuries, our church has used stained glass windows to depict the story of Christ and to really bring scriptures alive for us. And we also have a long tradition of the use of bells. Bells were meant in the days before social media and computers and cell phones to call us to worship, to bring us to church. Here at St. John's, the bells have been quiet for a long time as we've been working to restore our bell tower. 
and recognizing that for a long time only one of our three bells has actually worked. Recently, as you know, the bell tower renovation has been completed, our effort to restore, rebuild, and renew. And that campaign and those words seem very appropriate as our church is in a time for renewal. And so we're very excited tonight to not only share the bell tower with you, and you'll see in a few moments as we change the lights from purple to rose to celebrate this Latari Sunday this weekend, but also to ring all three of the fully restored bells that won't be able to call you to worship in the traditional sense of the word, but to call you to a deeper understanding and relationship with the Lord, with your family, and all of those who reside in your home. And so as we prepare to conclude our celebration tonight, the last thing that you will hear is our newly restored bells that will not call us to worship, but will call us to a closer relationship with the Lord and each other. Father John and I and Father Juan are continuing to adjust to life at St. John's and St. Joseph's without our people. And so it's been a joy to come to you tonight and to set the stage for our celebrations with you this weekend in a new way as we, as we celebrate Latiri Sunday. As I mentioned earlier, bells have long been used in the church to call people to worship. Now they'll be used to call us to be in solidarity with each other. We hope that we'll see some of you on Sunday morning from 9 to 11 for our drive-by opportunity to smile, to wave, to offer prayers of blessings, to hear concerns from you. But as we end tonight, we want to end with the newly restored bells that are calling us to be in relationship with Christ and with each other. As most of you know, we celebrated both St. Patrick and St. Joseph this past week, their feast days. And it seems appropriate to remember some very famous words from St. Patrick in these times where we're not physically together. May Christ continue to be beside us, Christ before us, Christ behind us, Christ within us, Christ beneath us, and Christ above us. Take a moment now to enjoy with us the newly restored bells. And on behalf of Father John and Father Juan and our parish staff, we continue to keep you in prayer.